All right, all right. We are back with another DaVinci Resolve tutorial, and today we are talking about the Beta 20. Now, this is going to be a multi-part series, so you guys could absorb everything I'm teaching because I feel like if I told you or showed you my 10, 15 favorite updates, you're not going to grasp them. And I want you guys to take every time I make a tutorial, I want you to take away something. I want it to stick. So today we're going to be focusing on two really cool audio features that have been updated with the beta 20. And before you go ahead and download that beta 20, make sure please you're either using a secondary computer like I am, or you back up all your current projects. I would hate for you to have the bug because the whole point of beta is to find the glitches and the bugs. And I don't want you losing money by losing a project. So I want that to just be out there. Now with that out of the way, like I said, this will be a playlist that I'm gonna be creating and you'll be able to find it in the description below as I make more of these videos. And today we are focusing on two really cool audio features that have been updated. Now up on the screen, I have my DaVinci template. This is a template that I showed you guys last time how to create so you can have all your timeline presets done, all your different bins, your color management. It's something that really speeds up my workflow and it seems like a lot of you guys really liked it. So if you watched it, let me know in the comments below. As of right now, I'm gonna click on my nine by 16 timeline and we have a little bit of a Pennzoil ad that we did with Formula Drift Driver Mike Power. And this edit is about 49 seconds. And I want my song to end properly at 49 seconds. I don't want a hard cut. I don't wanna have to fade it out. And this is a tool that Adobe's had since before 2019 when I switched to DaVinci. And finally, after what feels like 10 years almost, we have it. So how do we use it? So we have our audio track on, and I don't want you guys to cut it or trim it or anything. What we want to do, I'm just gonna dip the volume of this for the sake of your ears. What we're gonna do is click on the audio track and make sure in the inspector we're on audio. And what we want to do, it's not the AI music remixer. I know that's what it's called in DaVinci, but this is the AI music editor. And it's really simple to use. Here's how you use it. You're gonna go up to adjust after you have the audio track highlighted. You're gonna let the AI engine in the background do its thing. It's finding beat markers. It's trying to figure out where it could cut sections out and then match the beat later down the line to shorten our clip. Now, how I'm using it is after it runs that little analyzation in the background, I click live trim, and then simply all I do is go to the end of the audio track and I drag it back to where my video ends. And right here, if we zoom in, we see these little squiggly lines. That's letting us know it's cut and then sandwiched a further portion of the song down the line. And now we're getting the track ending closer to where we want it but it's not perfect however if we click on versions we usually get a couple different ones to play around with and if i want i could still grab this playhead and drag it out a little bit see if i could fine tune it now what's the issue if you do this at the end of the edit nothing crazy but here's my suggestion how to use it before you cut your edit adjust the duration of your audio track if you know your edit's going to be a 30 second deliverable a 45 a one minute or in that area for the sake of time just cut the song and use the ai music editor to your advantage by getting that out of the way then you could cut to the beat if you do it the opposite way the beats should still kind of align being that it's the same song the beat markers should be the same technically but they're not always, so I just want to give you that tip. Speaking of beat markers, that's my second thing that I want to show you guys. I've paid over $100 for a plugin called Beat Edit. And what it would do is, you'd be able to upload your song to it and it would put beat markers either on your timeline, on the track, there was a couple different ways it, which it did it. But instead of the way that, a, but instead of how DaVinci Resolve does it would just, basic lines which i'm going to show you in just a second it would color code the beats so you can match those color codes and cut the song down yourself but thanks to the ai music editor we don't need that plugin anymore you guys don't have to spend the money all we have to do to see beat markers on the song is go to the music clip right click 
hit show music beats, let it do its thing, and it's gonna be that simple. Now you can see where the hits are to the song. As you know, a lot of us editors like to edit to the beat. We like to put our cuts to the beat. And all these hash marks right here are your beat markers. Now, another thing you could do, which I personally don't like because it's a little bit annoying, is you can enable snapping to these beat markers. If you go up into, I believe it's, I don't know if it's timeline. It's one of these. Yeah, it's timeline. So if you click on timeline, you could go down to snapping. It'll show you that, but I don't know. It's a little bit annoying when it's there's so many markers and everything's just snapping to it. All right, so that wraps up two new features when it comes to the cut page and our audio section in beta 20. Let me know in the comments below if you're using these new features, if you've downloaded beta 20, and if there's any more in-depth tutorials when it comes to the beta 20 features. I have a ton of videos gonna be dropping. I'm gonna try to do two to four a week right now, but I want to cover our bases, take our time. I'm still using these, seeing if there's any bugs and stuff. And that's why I didn't just jump on the bandwagon the day this was announced. I want to give it some time, play around the tools and feel comfortable teaching you guys how to use them properly. I'm Jason Anthony. Until next time, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.